Hey guys, this is CCAWT here, and I'm going to be showing you my render settings for the HDP VR2, Sony Vegas Pro 12, and yeah. So, the first thing that I want you to note is that HDP VR2 only supports HDMI, so if you're, th if you're thinking about getting one and you have a Wii, do not worry, the HDP VR2 does come with components that will work with your Wii. And also, if you have a 32-bit operating system, do not get Sony Vegas Pro 12 because it will not work. Get Sony Vegas Pro 11 instead. It's the, ne the next best thing and there's not much of a difference at all. So don't worry about that. What you're going to want to do first is go to Arcsoft Showbiz and just go to Device Settings and oh, copy down these settings. They should mostly be actually no this is all default I have not changed anything and I'll take a screenshot and post it in the description anyway just in case you guys might want that but yeah just capture your video and make sure you know where you saved it to so anyway once you're done capturing your video I save my video to the desktop open up Sony Vegas Pro 12 now go to file open and then click test.mp4 well that's what I named mine it should be the date.mp4 then click open and when it says here do you want to set your project video settings to match this media click no now you wanna right click the video and go to uh, switches and actually wait for some reason I cannot do this so alright now it works don't worry Go to properties and dis uh, disable resample and untick maintain aspect ratio. Then click OK. Now what you're going to want to do is go to the pan crop thing which is right here. And you're going to open up, well, you're going to kind of edit it so you remove these black bars around because they get quite annoying. And I'm also going to post the width, height, X center and Y center in the description below just in case you can't see it on the screen right now and yeah it should be removing all of the black bars and yeah now what I'm going to want to do is go to if my, my mouse lets me go to event effects select Sony color corrector and Sony sharpen then click OK on the color corrector, you're gonna wanna go to custom and copy down these settings. I'll also post these in the description below, so don't worry if you can't see them right now. You can just check in the description and go to sharpen now, and you should take yeah make this to 0 0.700. 0 0.8, 0 I think it's too much, and 0 0.6 is way too little, and one is excessive. So, you don't want to get any more than that. So, you have your video here, and it looks already pretty decent in the timeline. And this is actually a really bad quality. Um, so, go to f now, now that you've done pretty much um, making the video better quality with um, the event effects, you can just edit it now with just cut the clips and paste more clips and whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. But when you're done doing that, just go to File render as it's taking a while for some reason alright I'm gonna untick show favorites only and go to main concept avc slash aac dot mp4 dot avc you're gonna wanna scroll down until you see okay this is it internet hd 720p you're gonna wanna scroll you're gonna select that and customize template I made a different template which is like Wii U and don't worry I'll just tell you the settings right now. So what we're going to want to do now is the frame size make it HD 720 and it's going to be 128, 1280 by 720 and untick allow source to adjust frame size and the profile will be main, the frame rate will be 59.940000 make sure it has four zeros, doesn't matter if it's one, actually no, it does matter if it's one, so it has to have four zeros. And here, allow source to adjust frame rate, 
Uncheck that. Field order, num progressive scan. Pixel aspect ratio, 1. Number of reference frames, 2. And this should be a constant bit rate of 20 million. And in code mode, I use CPU only because everything else that I have kind of sucks. And enable progressive download. And make sure it has include video because you will need that. And now go to audio, and this is all perfect. Just make sure it has include audio, and it should be 48,000 and 192,000. System, format, MP4, yes. Project, this does not matter. So once you're done doing that, make sure that uh, render loop region only, this is not selected. Make sure that is not selected. So now when, when you're done with that, click render. And it should not, it should take quite a while, depending on your computer speed. So I'll see you once this finishes. Okay, now once it's done rendering, just click open and you'll be able to see the video file. So as you can tell, it looks really nice. Ugh. It might, mine's a bit laggy because I'm recording the screen right now, but it should be at a decent frame rate. So anyway, if you have any more questions or something isn't working, please be sure to send me a private message on YouTube or even on Skype. But I might not request you on Skype, so that might not be the best option. So yeah, um, any questions, give me a PM on YouTube, and any more tutorial requests, please leave some comments below. If this helped, please give a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate that. So, anyway, thank you for watching, bye.